What's up guys, it's Awana Turtle, and today we are opening the recently acquired box of Full Metal Wall. Uh, really excited about this, this is the first time we're opening up a uh, Japanese box other than the ultra shiny box so it's like more like the regular sets um, however speaking about ultra shiny as a reminder if you missed our last video uh, we will be um, we have announced our first giveaway when we do hit 100 subs we will um, reward a one of our loyal subscribers uh, with a booster pack from this ultra shiny box uh, and in case you missed it last time uh, at the end of, the, of this video we'll, there will be like a two minute section where it kind of like describes uh, some of the great hits that you can get from this set um, and so if you did catch it last time it's the same exact uh, thing so no need to watch it twice uh, so guys other than that uh, we have in case we do get some really good pulls I have the uh, to, to translate some of the hits and we're just going to jump right into it she took out my glasses I actually kind of read a little bit better up close although this is Japanese so not that I can really read it to begin with so let's go to the other view all right so here's the box really cool with uh, Mel Metal and uh, Lucario so some of the really cool cards in the set, actually the Japanese sets, they're really small, um, which means for them that they release very frequently, especially compared to English sets. Um, but so the Lucario Melmetal looked pretty cool. The Celesteela sounded terrible. Um, the Blastoise was just okay. And then the uh, Buzzwall Feromosa, I think that was the most interesting one where it has the GX ability. Doesn't do a lot of damage, um, but it's GX does, I think it's 50 damage, but if you knock something out, you take an additional prize card. And if you have, I think it's like something which sounds like quite a bit of setup to have, if you have like an additional seven energy on it, you take three additional prize cards. So that would be four, or no, so it would be initial three, and remember that if if you knock out a tag team Pokemon, you get you get three, so that's instant win. Um, so that's absolutely crazy. Uh, the other, its other attacks are kind of underwhelming, uh, but all right. So these Japanese packs, <laughs> they're very. Ooh, let's make sure we do this on camera. Uh, so they are very. There's not a lot in them. There's only five cards. And so, let's see, is there like a, yep, so there's a little thing to pull on it. However, it's a little awkward in that I feel like sometimes I'm going to damage the cards. That, so a lot, some of the Magic the Gathering sets are kind of like that. So I'm not sure if you guys seen this. So I'm trying a new setup where um, the desk is raised kind of high so that the webcam is not like, where I need to look to look at the cards is not that different height. Uh, however, the, now that means that uh, like the phone is kind of blocking my view so this is gonna be a bit of a work in progress guys all right I think it's the trick is to just move one card over here all right so no idea what this is we have a sand troop diglet ah, I can just look into the phone <laughs> squirrel ah I like that squirrel very cute excited for that one to come to English and then a Arbuck. oh wow that's is that the rare Hmm. All right, so first pack, nothing exciting. So uh, since these these boxes do come with uh, 30 packs, so we might probably split this into two. We'll kind of see how how quickly we go through these. And however, since it's my first time, and I'm trying to do this through by looking through the camera, this is going pretty slow. Not sure how well this will go. All right, so oh, I see something shiny. We got the Alolan Dog Trio with their fabulous hair. A Ekans, Geodude. Uh, Meowstic or Purloin, I can't remember which what the order is. And then a Slowbro. Ah, this one, I think, I think its attack is flip three coins, and you do 100 damage for each heads. However, you get, if you get three tails, you instantly lose. Uh, so, that's a pretty unique, uh, high, high risk, um, high risk, high reward kind of thing. And... So it's like a, what was that, what was that come to, like 16% chance or something to just instantly, instantly lose. Man, these packs are not, 
whenever there's like a new new kind of packs so like tag team i def the packs are definitely different tag team it took me a while to get used to it and i feel like i just started to get the hang of it and now i'm trying something different and it's going terribly all right i think i saw a meltan all right we got a butterfree there's that meltan Ooh, war turtle it's like kind of like making a wave it's almost like one of it's defending himself from behind in case something's back tacking very cute Rio. And then, so I think this is called Blue Search. Uh, and I think it's something like it grabs a energy card. Oh, so if you have no, no Pokemon with any abilities, you can search up two trainers and add them to your hand. Which right now with the all the Jirachis, uh, I feel like that's not necessary at this point. But, all right. Genesec, it's like skydiving. Pretty cool. Ooh, see some shiny. Spiro, classic Pokemon. Um, Aeron, Laron, then Agron. Hitmon top. Ah, it's the same same theme where they're like kind of like doing stuff through in the city. And then ooh, all right. So our first ultra rare, and we have that Feramosa Buzzwall. So going from top down, uh, I think this is kind of like similar to the existing Jet Punch for Buzzwall GX, where 30 damage plus 30 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. This one for two green, one colorless, does 190, which is quite quite good. However, it uses attack next turn. I think it only does like 60 or something like that. And then here we go. This one's the, the very interesting one. So, uh, 50 damage. If you manage to knock out your opponent's Pokemon, you grab it two prize cards or an additional one prize card. However, if you have seven additional energy on this, um, so I guess that's eight, which that's a lot. Um, however, at that point, you grab three more. So again, a uh, reminder that if you do that to a tag team Pokemon, you win. You get all six prizes in one go. Okay, so quite crazy and so there was like I think um two two like trainer ultra rares gosh if, if so the tab thing if you kind of just pull off right here and you don't really open it at that point it's kind of tricky to get it although I think it's because I can't I'm not really looking at it I'm kind of just looking at it through the webcam it's very awkward I can't really see see what I'm doing I feel like I'm trying to open it pack through touch as opposed to using my eyes all right all right, guys. Apologies for the awkwardness. Um, doing a lot of new stuff here from different different setup. Uh, still getting used to having the face cam, and these packs are just kind of tricky. All right. So this is the other Perlo Pur Mastic I can't really remember, and it's taking a bath in the sink. That's kind of awkward. All right. We got the gold bat. It's flying by some fountains. Tangela. The slowpoke. And then ah, oh, this is the um. This card sounds terrible. I think you have to attach this to a Ultra Beast, and if if you knock out a Pokemon, and if you haven't taken any prize cards yet, I think you take an extra one. And if that's, if, I think that's what I read. And if that's what it is, that sounds terrible. I find that anything that you know, some of them are like, if you first turn the game, or you only have this many prize cards, I feel like they're just, it's too situational. It's like um. The Monopoly person, kind of like with a, with like a hat on. Drowsy. Graveler. Graveler's always pretty cool. Metapod. And then a crow bed, I think it's called. No, I'm not sure what this power is. All right, let's see. Oh, didn't get it again. Ooh, there we go. Ah, uh, that's a. This is a Pokemon I am not familiar with. Don't remember what this card is. So what is this? It's like a, like a sea cucumber or something. And it's like a. The art is like a hacky sack. Aeron. Aeron is one one thing in Pokemon Go where like I've managed to get multiple shinies. All right. Got that Squirtle again. So we have a Sand Slash, pretty cool art. That cute Squirtle. Teololan Diglett. Geodude. And then, ah, Golem. One, one interesting thing about like 
Graveler to Golem is like Graveler has an additional two arms and then when it evolves again they the arms just go away. I guess. These are some of great great mysteries. Alright. So if you guys enjoy this content, if you think um that you want to see more of these kind of openings. Uh, the reason I think it's really cool is to get a sneak peek of what's to come in the English sets. Um, and, ooh, that War Turtle, I like that one. Uh, I don't remember what this guy does, but it sounded pretty bad. I think it was like, if you discard two metal energy, you, oh, was, you, you add something back to your deck, but like, discard two cards to add it to your deck is like, why don't I add it to my hand? That feels does that feels much more uh, not not overpowered. You know, kind of maybe put the card in its right like place as far as strength. Unless I misunderstood it, which is possible. But as always, guys, if you do enjoy the content and want to see more, let me know by hitting that like button and let me know in a comment below. Who I like this one. Uh, I think it's attach it to a metal. Um, Pokemon and it takes like minus 30 no 70 damage which is quite good um, and as always um, if you're not, not a subscriber and you do enjoy the content uh, hit that subscribe button when we do do that giveaway uh, one of the requirements will be that you are sub to the channel oh Blastoise and of the I think it's full art very cool the the artist I don't I'm not sure how to describe it it's kind of very cartoony, although it's kind of weird. I guess everything's kind of cartoony. Um, so this guy's first attack is so two water energy, and you can discard or uh, any number, or maybe add it to your uh, deck. I can't remember, but basically you remove energy from him in a 60 times, and then this GX where you add as many. Um, I think you attach as many water energy you want to Blastoise from your discard pile. So it's. Uh, maybe unless there's like enough mechanics to kind of like recharge um, kind of like um, Naganadal um, and stuff for water I don't think this thing is super viable uh, but yeah if you're not subscribed hit that subscribe button um, as always if you do are looking for some code cards let me know in a comment or let me know on Instagram and I will hook you up and then we have a Tangrowth all right, so I think we're starting to get into the groove here. And we're already at like almost 13 minutes for just this opening. So definitely going to break it up into multiple parts. Can't remember sure what this thing is. Looks like some kind of hot glue gun. Uh, we got a Zubat. That hit him on top on the ledge again. Ooh, that Firo. Actually pretty cool. I think Firo is kind of an underappreciated Pokemon. And then a Kartana. Not sure what the backstory of this guy is, but Kartana's always thought it was kind of cool. If anyone like, uh, I, actually, I didn't really watch Nuru, I kind of read the manga, um, but they, um, one one member of Akatsuki, Sasha's always kind of cool, she's kind of like, I don't know, not made of paper, but kind of tells her, she kind of attacked and stuff like that. Alright, so we got like three packs left. But yeah, let me know if you're excited about that giveaway. I, I personally am. Um, and we got a Spiro, and then that skydiving Genesec. Oh, that's strange. I feel like what is um, is this actually a? Oh, it's an uncommon. So you're not even you don't get a rare card. Is that what's going on? For every pack. Uh, so it did occur to me like I think we I do need to figure out like uh, shipping so I think shipping to anywhere in the continental US should be fine but if it is international um, not exactly sure how that's gonna work uh, we have an R buck not sure what its attacks are but so we are on to our last pack and so far I think per booster box you're almost guaranteed a hyper rare or um, full art trainer I do like how it's these boxes are 30 packs. I don't mind that it's only five cards. Um, when you think about it, like if you open a booster box, like you get a lot of, um, not that I'm trying to imply like everyone can open a booster box, but you get a lot of cards. And a lot of times people are just looking for like those ultra rares. And so like the commons, after a while, like the commons just kind of stack up. So we got that gravel and there's it's kind of extra arms. I guess they're, it's hard to tell that they're functional versus just kind of like Thatcher's body but then we have ooh Stack Attacka 
This <laughs> Pokemon is so strange. This one, he kind of looks like he's got like a lot of like boombox speakers or something. Um, but this is another one. I'm very curious if there's like a backstory for him. This this is just so weird and I don't I, so weird and I like it. So there we have it, guys. Our first opening for the Japanese sets. Outside of uh, again those, I don't. The Ultra Shiny is kind of like a special set. The way I look at it. Uh, however, for our pulls, we got two GX Pokemon in the Buzzwall Pheromos, and this was one I wanted to hit. And then the Blastoise, uh, you know, given it's a one turtle, so he, he has a dear place in my heart. Um, but the I think this card is kind of more exciting when it comes to its attacks and stuff like that. And um, tag team, so yeah, the tag teams, the tag teams are here to stay, guys. Um, and so. And so I, we only have one box of this, however, I did put in an order for some uh, Double Blaze, which will be exciting. Uh, I think that one has like a Rishi Ram Charizard, which maybe we'll talk a little bit about in the next video. Uh, so again, guys, in, in this next section, uh, it's just going to be the same clip about just going over some of the, the Secret Rare um, or SSR cards that you can get from these Ultra Shiny boxes. Uh, and, and reminder, so we are going to be doing a giveaway for these once we hit 100 subs. Um, other than that, guys, thanks for watching as always. I appreciate all the support that I've been getting from the community. Um, and with all that being said, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. Hey guys, Turtle here again, and just to kind of further promote the giveaway, uh, so in case you're not familiar with the Ultra Shiny GX set, so these are some of the cards that you can get. So starting with the SR, and per booster box, there are two SR cards. And so these are two very sought after full art trainers, the very powerful Guzma and Cynthia. And then we have a bunch of the other trainers from the Sun and Moon sets. And then we'll quickly move into all the shiny Pokemon. So the entire set, um, which is kind of like a reprint set, all are available, all the cards are available in shiny, even some shiny Alolans, which I kind of find interesting. And then, so we move on to some of these Froakie. It's a pretty cool one. And we're just gonna kind of go through just so, um, yeah, so, uh, there's like a 30% chance that, that someone will win. This one's nice. Um, Zer Zerua, very cool. Baby Buzzwall, Guzzlord. 30% chance to get a SR or SSR. Or 20% for SR. Rolts. And then 10% for SSR. I do think that Kind of like a Eevee, very popular. Um, kind of to obtain like this full set. So these cards were kind of like purchased um, as opposed to from opening. All the, there's a lot, a lot of evolutions available on the SSR. Here's the big boy, Charizard. Ho oh, oh, is kind of cool. Hmm, a little nine tails. It's a legendary bird. Mewtwo. Always a popular hit. Espeon. Yeah, such an epic set. Buzzwall, very relevant. Zorark with trade. And alright, here's I think this is my favorite page. Guzzlord, very cool. Scizor, nice. Stack Attack is kind of funny. Oh, I love Gardevoir. Sylveon, another favorite. And then Rayquaza, shiny Rayquaza. Huge hit right there. And then we have the gold cards. I don't remember if this is SSR or SR to be honest. But we have all the uh, Guardians. And then the the final, the Lunala, Solgaleo. And then wraps up with Ultra Necrozma. And yep, there's some Scream promos. Uh, so yeah, the, get, I hope everyone's excited for that giveaway. All right, later.